morning guys how's it all going hope you're doing all right on my way out again today guys um if you follow me youtube you heard me talk about putting the, a block of work into rip to try and get him to reach his potential we'll have a real good look at him this year and uh, after a three months we'll, we'll see where his mind's at in relation to a heavy workload we'll see if he can stand up to it so we'll be using him a bit from now on including today also today uh, i've got ragnar with me who is my vasectomized buck who doesn't really get out all that often now uh, he's also a decent worker i wouldn't have him if he wasn't initially i was going to breed with him um, and then i got ripped and i made a choice between which one of those I was going to be sectomised and I chose Rip to breed with uh, because of his working potential mainly so uh, that's what we're up to today so that's what we we're up to I've also got uh, who did I bring I bought the three boys Chewy Bang and the General the three cup bucks Ragnar Rip and I also brought Tess Tilly and Storm so eight ferrets with us today I will be collaring up Rip because he's part of my breeding program and we can't afford to to lose him because he's part of the breeding program. So the last thing you want to do is have something happen to him. So um, we'll, we'll collar him up. Gonna head out to Kev's place. There's a mound burrow out there that I spotted last time. Had a few sitting on it. Look, it's a really difficult burrow to net to put the long net around due to obstructions. And just the nature of the burrow, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there, but it's... I'll have a bit of a think about it and net it as best I can and we'll work that burrow. I'll have to work Rip and Ragnar separate, but we'll be cautious about that. We'll only put one of them in the burrow at a time. It's still pretty close to the end of their breeding season here and um, if they come together at any point, I'm sure that they'd still fight. I'm pretty sure anyway. So we won't... We'll try and avoid that situation. So we'll work them separately, but the rest of them are all pretty good. So that's what we're up to. Not sure how long I'm gonna to get to stay out there. Um, it's already, I've got shorts and, and a t-shirt on and it's not cold at all. So probably gonna warm up pretty fast, but we'll do what we can before it gets too hot. And we'll give the boys a run. We'll give Ragnar a run and he'll be, he'll, he'll enjoy that. And, uh, and I'm sure Rip will too, who hasn't been out in you know quite some time since the breeding season started the last time he was out with with spike in that video called um, out with the boys or the boys or something like that it was called anyway I'll, I'll get there you've already seen in the last video how many rabbits are running around there quite a few so uh, I'm expecting to get some out of this burrow today I've seen a few sit on it get back to you All right, guys, uh, I've got lip, zip, uh, rip collared up. Just give you a quick look at what I did. It took me a little while to see how much how the sun's come up, and I got here pretty early. I had to have a good look at this burrow and see how to tackle it, because it's pretty pretty big. So I put one long net around this area all the way around, um, and it stretches a fair way, this burrow, and I, I still haven't got it all covered, but I, I've got, like, the, the best parts of it, I think. That are appropriate to uh to net at this stage because i'll sort of go along in sections but i couldn't really run the long net down through there because of all the all the uh roughage i would have to spend an hour pulling it all out so i just purse netted all that up a bit of fresh digging there um that big hole down there and these ones are on a different section to what i'm hoping to be doing so 
we're going to do that that far section over there and all this section in here and i'll run the long net all the way up down this hill see there's all burrows in here too and i'll move across there next time i come but for now we're going to try and do this section and they may join and if they do um we're going to have rabbits running everywhere so you see all these burrows here long net all the way bit of a cliff there so i'm gonna to have to watch what i'm doing with the ferrets we don't want them getting across this side because it's got all the burrows in here and they stretch just give you a look if they run through to there and then they run to the top over there and there's burrows all the way along so we don't want the ferrets crossing over into here or you know would we could lose them so have to be careful now so that's the story that goes up and around so it stops a little bit of the hole hopping and then we got another long net all the way around and that's where, where, we're, where we're at i'm just about to drop the ferrets in i'm going to drop rip in here first on his own and see uh what he's hasn't been out in so long and i don't want to put any females in with him to distract him i've got a few other cut bucks i could put in with, in with him but I'll just give him a run on his own first and have a bit of a look at him. Get back to you. All right, here's Rip. And for those who don't know, he's the father of the kits that I kept this year. And it, him and Trixie. So that's him. And he's turned, he's as fat as anything, mate. It's wonder he can fit in the burrow. He's putting on a bit of weight. Now I might start him. Not really sure. And I'm expecting to get some rabbits out of these burrows, make no mistake. I did see the odd one or two. Alright, Rip hasn't seen a burrow in that long. Bang, straight to work. And he's been out three times in his life. Collar's working good. And we'll just put this over here. Sip um, has had a fair rest now. His injury looked fine. He went for one run over there and he, uh, he re-injured it. So let's hope it comes good. It's not a bad injury, it's just really annoys him. I'm not sure if he's um, preempting the pain that was in it or whether he's, oh, there's one, bang. His rip folded one straight away. Good boy, Fleet. Good boy, mate, mine. Good boy. Good dogs. No, he's limping on it. Oh, look, there's a rip right behind it. Jeez, he's a good ferret. How's that? Ferret hasn't been working that long and he's just straight to work. Right up its arse and bolts them. I was saying to Graham, you know, I hope he turns out to be everything I want him to, to be. I, um, I put a lot of, a lot of uh, trust in him when I bred him with with trick with all of me ferrets i bred him with this year and uh, i put a lot of trust in him because of his his potential that i saw after the, like i said he's only had three burrows but in those three burrows i've seen enough to to to, to estimate or guess that he was going to be something really special and i was saying that to graham the other day he said oh, i said i hope he you know he turns out to be what i think he's going to be I said, but I'll put a block of work into him, bring him to his potential, and then you're going to see. I said, I think he'll be a champion, a really for a buck anyway. He's just got a, an unbelievable prey drive, and, and he's, a, he's very uh, active, good worker, and you'll see that, you'll see that. But, you know, the, the only concern is when you put a block of work into him, and when I'm, I say a block of work, that's two to three days a week, over a three month period, uh, you'll, you'll get to see what your ferret's made of because um, you get a lot of ferrets that'll hunt like this in the first week and the second and third week they just drop right off, their enthusiasm drops off. He seems the type of ferret, and I've seen a fair few, that um, 
he'll hold on to that enthusiasm. Here he is. And we'll just watch him. This is his fourth burrow that he's ever seen. Down he goes. But I've seen enough of him in the first three burrows to think, geez, this, this very could be something. There's certain little things that I look for in ferrets, and he's got a fair few of them that make them stand out a little bit from your average, everyday ferret. Let's hope I'm right. I've been wrong before. Because I'm not always right. Like I used to say to my ex missus, look, I admit when I'm wrong, I just never am. That's a bit of a joke, guys. I better stand up there in case he comes out where them long nets are, where the uh, purse nets are. I don't really want to stand here because the sun is. Um... Oh, oop, there's another one, he's bolted another one too. And I'll bet you he's right behind it. Came out here somewhere. I'll bet you he's right behind it. Mine. Mine. All right, mine. That's mine, please. Good, good dogs. There he is, see, right behind it, looking for it now. We'll just let him find his way. He goes, that thing ran out, where is it? And he hasn't been out of the cage in ages, so, you know, just let him have his little run around. He's quite a, he's an extremely friendly ferret too. Like I said, he's got certain qualities I look for in ferrets and he's got, He's got a few of them. Look at him. He's happy to be out, you know. We'll just let him find his way. I'm not going to... Down he goes. Happy to be out, isn't he? Like he's... He's such a friendly ferret too. A lot of qualities that ferret. Back out. We'll just watch him. Down he goes. Rarely will you see a, a ferret wandering a bit now and I'll be honest with you like when I what I say whatever he, whatever he is I'll you'll get to see it you put him near a hole he just goes straight down what I'll do now is I'll drop another ferret in with him Down he goes. So you've seen a little bit of what he what he did on his own. Bolted two pretty quick ones. Right, let's get out one of these one of these little gels. Looks like storm. <coughs> we'll drop storm down there. over. He's such a friendly ferret. He goes storm. It's storm.
There you go, off he goes. He's really happy to be out, Rip, you can tell. But I do let him out in the back garden when I say he hasn't been out here, and he hasn't. Uh, I do put him down in the back garden and play with him, that's why he's so playful too. He's in and out a little bit now, he's told of them too. Hard to catch, mate. <laughs> gotcha. Good boy. Right. So storms in there at the moment. I'll drop him in up here. I did think we get more than two out of this, but there's a few, fair few in, in that section. But we'll have to put a few ferrets in there, it's pretty, pretty extensive underground. He just works the burrow, doesn't he? He's such a... For, for an inexperienced ferret, that's the thing. You know, for an inexperienced ferret to just to naturally work a burrow, like, like the kits I've got now, they're good. But um, he did this from day one. And the kits may end up being better than him. You know, like one of the best ferrets that I had, Willow, was useless. I wouldn't say useless, she was very average the first year. And after she had a litter of kits, she just went to another level. And I've seen that plenty of times. Especially with Jules. There's Storm. Back down. And this is Storm's uh, second season now. He's just turned, he's just over one, one year old. But I've known she was going to be pretty good for quite some time. And I'm expecting the same out of Rip. I'm expecting that, um, you know, he'll be good. And I picked up on it very early on, as I said. I thought we might get one, one or two more out of this section. But it's not huge, it's not sort of just a little mound, but I seen quite a few run in it last time I was here today, I didn't see too many run in it. And what I'll do soon is I'll pick him up after he works it a bit more. See, he's just grinding the burrow. <coughs> and I'll put Ragnar through, give him a bit, little bit of work. I don't really want to stick him over here. This one, if he gets stuck, I'll be, he'll dig his way out pretty easy. I'll just watch Storm for a sec. I don't want to go on across and there she goes down. Storm's um, very much like Rip, only she's better on her feet. She's, when I say that, she's just faster and um, more agile. But Rip's been in a cage and he's as fat as a pig. He's really heavy. And if I compare the two bucks that I've got this year, the ones that I breed with, which is Spike and Rip, at the moment, Rip's still better. Uh, Spike's still better, I would say. That being said, um, Spike has had a lot more experience, a lot. And he kills bloody heaps. 
I dread putting him in a burrow because he always catches and kills them. Sweet, leave them alone, mate. Good boy. Yeah, he's a bit sore on that back right leg, all right. Oh, I just heard a bolt. Definitely a bolt. There's Rip. So it's Storm that's chasing it. There's Storm out here. She's lost it and back down. Saying, where is it? I'm expecting Storm to end up being take over from Trixie. I think she'll um, she'll pick up the mantle. Look at this ferret. He's following me. Look at him. Dot, 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 dot. He's such a friendly ferret, mate. I don't want him getting over there. That's for sure. All right, we'll pick him up now. Put him in the box. Storm. Back down. Back out. She's following me too. I, I did hear a bolt, so I'm going to stick another couple of ferrets through here. We'll just stick Rip in the box for, for the moment. Turn his collar off. Oh shit, don't want her over there either. Dot, 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 dot. I'll do now is I'll run Ragnar through. I, I, I sort of couldn't turn the collar off then and I'm thinking you bloody idiot the camera when you put the um, ferret finder near it it, it it picks it up and makes the ferret finder go off. So GoPros guys make your ferret finders sound like you, your collars sound like they're still on. Right Ragnar very similar ferret, ferret to Rip as you can see and he's my vasectomized buck and when we got him vasectomized he's always had this penis that sticks out a little bit and he's always had it so, and, and for that reason I was nearly not going to get him vasectomized but he was such a good friendly ferret I didn't and a good worker I thought you know what I'll give him a chance if he has issues with it so be it but and to his credit he's still taking all my jewels out of heat Ragnar hasn't seen a burrow in. God, I don't know how long. But you see the difference in. He's a good worker, but you see the difference between him and Rip. Once he gets going, he'll be fine. Off he goes. And I might just drop in another couple of jewels just to work this burrow pretty quickly now and then we'll move over to the next one so it's Tilly and Tilly and Tess go, that one's Tilly off she goes There's Tess. Off she goes. Oh, yep, there she goes. I'm going to stand down here because I don't want the ferrets getting across the other one. Ragnar's out. Rags! Rags! Friendly boy, aren't you? 
Our eggs. Let him find his weight. I don't want to spend too much time on this burrow because it's starting to warm up already. There is another one in there, I heard a bolt. A little bit hesitant. Made a fair bit of noise when I was hammering all the bloody pegs in. In winter time, I'll, normally when I do that sort of thing, you don't normally have to hammer them in because you can push them in, but if I do have to, normally I'll let the burrow, burrow settle for a little while. But in summer you don't have that luxury. You have to get in and do it as quick as you can. I've just seen uh, Ragnar and one of the Jules. Both of them took off in op opposite directions. It was uh, Tess. Both Jess and Tess are very good ferrets too. Tilly. Back down. They're all starting to come up. Dog. Storm playing with the dog. There's the other the other one there. I don't think this burrow's finished. I just don't. Rags back down, he's enjoying it now. He's off and going. Bit of a chatterbox rags, he's chatter, chattering away as he's going through the burrow. Well, I'll get this cage, I'm going to start picking them up now, guys. I don't want to spend too much time on this burrow. So I'll pick them up, gut these rabbits, put them in the esky, move across to the next one. There is another one in there, but it could have its head in the corner, and, or, or they just can't find it. And that happens, look, even your best ferrets, you can have ferrets, rabbits in a burrow, and when there's so many passages underground, and I've said this before, I'll try and explain. Ferrets are left-handed and right-handed, just like people, and they have tendencies. And if you've got a rabbit, it's, because there's fresh rabbit, when you've got a few rabbits in the burrow, there's fresh rabbit scent in the burrow all the time. They'll pick them up when they get real close, but hard for them to, to distinguish when there's so, so much fresh scent, scent. So if you've got a passage and it's got a left and a right, and you've got a ferret that always has a tendency to, to, to go left, they miss the right, and if the rabbit's at the right, they'll always miss it. And you pick up on that sort of thing when you're using up uh, ferret finders, and then you find where they get stuck and where, where they're actually working. Like you will, you'll see them always on this side of the burrow and there would be one passage that goes off to the left that they missed and when your ferret gets stuck and, and you go down to it, that's where he is. So that's how you tell. And that happens, like ferrets sometimes for whatever reason, you know there's a rabbit in there, you've seen it run in and you just can't find it, they can't find it. 
and I've seen that many times, even with your best ferrets. Here's Tilly. We'll pick her up. I'm going to start picking them up now because I want to move on to this next burrow. Yeah, that's definitely Tilly. So storm tests and rags. That looks like Tess. Still working, eh? Just wouldn't mind having a bit of a look in there. Here's um, Storm. She's a cracker. And the best thing to do when you see a rabbit run into a burrow and your ferrets can't seem to find it and they keep coming out different holes keep put you know there's a rabbit in there keep putting them down all the holes and make sure they cover the whole burrow because like i said sometimes they can just miss they'll go left they'll go left they'll go left and they miss the one to the right so you just try and put them in all the holes so you, you they work all the sections a good idea guys. Right, there's uh, rags. He's such a friendly boy. So it's just storm left. Surprise, surprise. Storm a little bit of more of a grinder. There she is, she's out too. And I was sure I heard a bolt before, positive. Possibly could have been a rabbit running, uh, the ferret running in the burrow, but I don't know, it sounded more like a bolt to me. Storm's still going. She's still working the burrow. So we'll let her go. We'll put the cup bucks in next with Rip. So Rip went pretty good, didn't he? I mean, he bolted the only two rabbits we got out of there. Here's Storm. <laughs> Back down. She looked like she headed over here then. Don't think we're going to get too much more out of here, guys. I'll wait for um, Storm to come out. I, look, I'm not that one. I'm sure I heard a bolt before, but you know, I'll put a few ferrets through now and they, they seem to uh, disagree. So, you know, but like I said, they can miss them. All right, here's Rip, <laughs> he wants to play. We'll just let him find his way. And we've got the three cup bucks, we'll put that down there as well. We've got the General, Fang and Chewy. Here they are. All right, let's find them a hole. One, two, he's go there. Where are you going, General? Yeah, you can go in there if you want, mate. Over this way, buddy. Chewy. One in there. One over here. 
pretty big burrow. I will drop the other ones in soon. And we'll just let them work it. I'll have to move about a fair bit on this burrow because it's pretty big. Come on, Fang. A lot of burrows around here too. Oop, there's a rabbit, look. Stuck in a net. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Good dogs, good dogs. All right, mine, mine, mine. He tried the whole hop then. There's a uh, fang right behind it. He tried to sneak over and drop in there then. spare net there you can see this and I'll drop all the ferrets through all of these burrows at some stage when I get the next ones out I'll drop them in here to Jules and I'll put them back in look at them running everywhere they're all hole hopping. Fang. Yep, fang. One hole hop ran down there. And one hole hopped and ran down there. So what I'm going to do now is drop the jewels in. One, two, I'll put them down the bottom. One there. One there. Might not go in by the look of her, she's trying to dig her way in. Alright, try that one up there, girl. Mine, mine, mine. Good dogs, good dogs. All right, fleet, fleet. Those other rabbits already gutted and in the esky.
And the only ferret we haven't got in is um, Ragnar. Haven't seen rip for a while. But you can see here, it's a great, just a big, oh, heard a bolt, bolt over here. Big mound burrow, isn't it? Oh, actually, that could have been rags in the box. Ferret back down. Don't know who it was, it was too quick. Oh, here's one. Good boy, fleet. Good boy, fleet. Mate, good boy, mate. Who's behind it? Storm. Yeah, it's Storm. Looking for it. And back down. I think you. Put that up there for now. So I've got to put a rock on this. That's what I was doing with it. To hold it down. Good girl store. Off she goes. I'm just tighten this up a bit. Go up the top where I can see. Look at these ferrets over here. So this joins this burrow. That's the general. <laughs> Got him. Here's another one. So they're bolting them out up here now. Look. All right. So they've got into this section of the ferrets. So that burrow actually joins. I didn't want that to happen, but what do you do? There's a ferret down there, working pretty good. One there. I'll put the general in here. Up and down the hill chasing ferrets. I've got to be, look, if they come out, I'm going to see them, they're not going to get away. So that one actually does join because the general found his way over. And we'll have a look for rip. Oh. So they're bolting them. They're bolting them out of, out of somewhere. He's hit the net that one. That came out over there somewhere. Ran along in in the net. Good dogs. Get him. Oh look, there's a rip right behind it. And he's straight onto it. So they're bolting them out of here somewhere. And there's Rip. You don't have to worry about him, do you? Look. Oh, come on, mate. Jeez, I can't get him off. There's no way, mate. I'll pull his bloody teeth out. 
Oh, I got him. Okay. So we'll pick Rip up now. He's had a good run. Got a kill. There's a ferret out there on the other side of the net. I just seen it. Yeah, so we'll pick Rip up now. Um, so we want, yeah, Rip can go in there. I've seen a ferret out over, over here somewhere. And there's all rabbits bolting here. Look, there's a ferret. Bang. Dot, 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 dot. See, they're bolting them out everywhere. Not much you can do when, I mean, how much long net would you need to go right around all of it? You know, it just stretches on and on. So you can only do what I've done, you know, work it in sections and do your best. But now we've got ferrets right, look, there goes one. We'll get him. Hoo, 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 he'll eat the net too. Bang. Got him. So there's a hole down there that's not covered. And they've bolted a few out of it. And they're running around trying to get to this part of the burrow and getting caught. Good dogs. Good dogs. Looks like a little storm chase that out. I did have a rock on this. Just hold it down. Little storm. Yeah, she, she's following the scent, see? Good girl. Starting to warm up, girl. I don't know if we should start packing up or not. Look, before we keep working this burrow, we're going to keep pushing them out. For sure. But it's getting hot. That's all I'm worried about. I don't want to get stuck in the heat, that's all. I've just seen a, a polecat ferret over. Oh, look at all the ferrets over here now. Chewy. Yeah, I've got to pick them up. I can't have them working through all this as well. So these obviously join. So next time I come, I'll bring more long net and I'll try and cover this section. But I brought a bit with me today. Look, I brought 150 yards. I thought that'd be enough. But obviously it isn't, is it? If I can work them in this side, it'd be good. Oh look, there's ferret. Back, straight back. Alright guys, something that happened to the camera, I'm not sure why, it just said repairing file or whatever, so I don't know what you've seen and what you didn't. The cut, I've got all the ferrets out now except the cut bucks, and they're still bolting them out of here, running all over the place. Just, the dogs just chased two and it ran over there. And the, the cut bucks are still working, I've got all of the jewels back. Storm was the last of the jewels out, I've got Rip and Ragnar back. Um, so it's only the General, Chewy and Fang left in. Chewy's up in this section, and I haven't seen the other two for a while.
I've got a feeling they're over here. Oh, there's um, Chewy again. Chewy. So Chewy's over here now. Him and Fang are working really good today. And generally he's he's, um, he's been going really good for a while. Last couple of times I've had Fang and Chewy out, they've been a little bit I wouldn't say off, they're just not their, their usual self like like he is today. hawks I want to try and get them soon because I want to get these rabbits and these just join look at them they just keep going on and on and on see but you won't lose your ferrets here it's, you just won't when I say you won't lose them oh it's Ferret over here pushing them out somewhere. Dog's just seen one, chased it. So one of the cut bucks is obviously over here chasing them out. probably see him show his head pretty shortly. There he is. Bang. I'll put him back in with uh, rags. You stable mate. So just Chewy and the general to go. We know Chewy's over there somewhere and we haven't seen the general for some time. He's real good to general but he always catches them. So does Rip and Chewy, they catch them too. They're bigger ferrets and when they grab hold of them, when they have the opportunity, hard for the rabbits to get away from them because they're so big and strong. So we've got nine now, we've got nine rabbits. And um, they've probably bolted about 16, 17 out of here altogether. Thereabouts. Had a couple that ran out across the paddock. Um, one ran over that way, another two ran across this way. So yeah, they've bolted about 15, 16. So they've done a good job, the ferrets, considering the um, size of the burrow. Normally I'd drop a dozen in here, something this big. There, there's Chewy down there. Still working. It's going to make me... I want him to walk clear because when I go near him, he just wants to keep working and just runs back down. If we can get him, it'll only be the general left. He's gone back down, isn't he? See, he's going back down. But big burrow, guys, looks pretty big, pretty big, isn't it? There's a big burrow. I'm just checking the nets to see if there's any that run in that we didn't see. The chili and fang both work really good today. And the general's going good too.
and I am trying some new camera settings as well I'm always trying to play with it sometimes I'm, it gets better and sometimes I muck it up and it gets worse so we'll see so the general obviously caught one and Chewy still working all burrows in through here there's Chewy yeah, going back down, he was just there. You see all the burrows in here too. And they're in this grass. These weeds. Look at the rabbit. Just about to hit the net. Get him, Fleet. You, Fleet, get him. Go, go, go. Oh look at the ferret right behind it. It's a general right behind it. See that? You see that? That's you don't see that every day. Now he's looking for it. That'll be the general. Yep. Dot, 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 dot. Going back to look for it. So he's probably killed one, now he's working again. Unlucky not to uh, to catch that rabbit, but it was hesitant. It's just hole hopping. There he is. He doesn't want to stop working. Look at him. There he is. I know that doesn't go in that hole. There's a general. Lucky to get him because he wanted to keep going. And there's more rabbits in here as you can see, guys. But they're running around, around circles and hole hepping, hopping. If I had a dozen ferrets, we'd get them to move. There's just too many passages and places for them to run to. Now it's just chewy now, and he's been showing his head every now and again, still working. As soon as he comes up, pick him up, gut these rabbits, and we'll pack up and go. It's starting to get warm, I'm starting to sweat already. But the good weather's coming, it won't be long, I'll be able to stay out a bit longer. Mum's home from hospital now, which is good. She's not 100%, but she's, um, she's okay. 83 and still going. I might just start packing these um, purse nets up. This one looked like it had a rabbit in it. Look. Or a ferret. Probably a ferret. There he is. There he is. The chew stuff. Hey, Chewy. Chewy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. All right. Hey guys, so we're just going to gut the rabbits one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what we brought out. I'll pack the rest of these purse nets up, pack the long nets up. I'll gut the rabbits first, and then we'll be we'll be on our way. So we could have we could have done a little bit better out of it if we had more long nets set up, um, but we did okay. We got nine rabbits. The ferrets worked really well. Uh, Rip done well on his own. And he'll progress a little bit. Like I said, that's only his fourth burrow. So um, he looks like he, he'll be fine. And I'll be using him pretty uh, pretty much almost every time I go. 
and we'll put some heavy workload into him and I think he'll stand up just fine. I think he'll be he'll be an exceptional ferret um, once he gets up and going and uh, I mean he's already up and going what I mean is after he catches a few more underground um, it normally sparks their enthusiasm even more he's, he looks like the sort of ferret that the more he does the better he's going to get so we'll see as we go along all right that's it for another day guys reasonably successful a um, little bit disappointed fleets have re-injured him himself he's look it's not a bad limp or anything like you'd but I can see it. He's his back right leg is carrying it a little bit. But it looks like the sort of injury that that will heal. It doesn't look like it'll it'll keep coming back. He just needed a bit more rest than what I gave him. I gave him a week off and probably wasn't quite enough. Alright, whatever you're doing in life guys, make sure you enjoy. Because it goes past just way too fast. Bye for now.